future clint Whoa. welcome back Whoa. from the future to the year 2020 well hey lindsay of the year 2020 ready for some time adventure i was ready 130 years in the future ago this adventure is gonna start out at the thunder sky art gallery let's take a ride on us 127 Let me tell you, time travel can be tough stuff. Hi, I'm Brandy Maples, and I'm a studio coordinator at Visionaries and Voices, where I work uh, with Curtis Davis and um, also with Robert McFaith, um, who are the collaborators of this piece, which is 1 Corinthians 127. Hi, my name is Jim DeBras, and I'm here at the invitation of uh, Robert and Angie to, to say a few words about this man right here, Daniel Boone, pioneer, explorer, trailblazer. All right, uh, my name is Skip Kellen. I'm the uh, exhibitions director at Visionaries and Voices, and uh, I also co-founded Wave Pool, contemporary art gallery in Cincinnati, Ohio. I'm here today uh, with Robert McFate's piece here which depicts the United States Steamboat and the United States, wait, no, America Steamboat and the United States Steamboat Collision. Hello, uh, my name's David Eastnap, and it's my pleasure to talk to you about Clifford Lane. I'm a sign guy myself, and, and Clifford got his start painting billboards down in Georgia and this and that, but his style of painting was more photorealistic that you would really come about it as far as uh, billboards and things like that. Hello, I'm Robert McVeigh, and I am excited to be here today with Sarah Dee. She is a studio coordinator with Visionary Voices, and she's here today to talk about my painting peacefully or forcefully. Alrighty, well, hi everyone. I'm Sarah McKenzie. I come from Keep Cincinnati Beautiful. Um, I'm here to speak about Robert's amazing urban fishing portrait. All right, hey everybody, this is Carl Truman. I'm at the wonderful and uh, soon to be gone Thunder Sky Gallery. I'm here for Robert McFate's show about uh, Highway 127. We're in the midst of uh, the pandemic. Hopefully by the time we see this, we're in a better spot with that. And I've been asked to talk about this man right here, Billy Dean Anderson. Hi, my name is Faith Maynard. I am the program manager for Community Connections at LAD. But more than more important than that is I'm a friend of Robert McFaith's. Uh, connected with him through the community here at Thunder Sky. And he has been a figure in my life since before my children were born. And I'm so honored that he asked me to comment on his show here tonight. Hi. Well, we need to recognize the signs and we need to understand the symbols. Hi, I'm Robert McVeigh and it's my pleasure to talk a little bit about Glencoe, Kentucky and my friend, photographer and artist, David Earl Johnson. This is Carol Machesky. I'm here today at Thunder Sky, Robert McFaith's show on Highway 127. Um, I'm pointing out today his, the work by his brother, Randy Fox McFaith, who's from Panama City, Florida. Hi, my name is Melissa Ariaga, and I currently reside in Bromley, Kentucky, and I'm here to tell you about Lauren Allen. She um, met Bob and Angie when she moved to Sequatchie Valley, Tennessee. Hi, I'm Christine. I'm a teacher at Cincinnati Country Day School, and I'm a friend of Robert McFates, and I want to tell you about this group of art here. Um, this work was done by Sayla Johnson, and Sayla is a young lady that Bob met when she was in fifth grade, and he was her art teacher. Hi, I'm Sarah Bitter, and I am here to talk about Robert McFates. America's Most Admired, First Lady, Eleanor Roosevelt. 
Hello, my name is Hannah Tehack, and I'm here to talk about this piece of Harry Devlin of the Devlin Squad. Hi, my name is Shauna Higgins, and I am an artist and the education director at Visionaries Voices here in Cincinnati. Um, my primary mode of making is clay and drawing, and um, I'm going to talk a little bit here about Josiah Henson as represented by Mr. Robert McFaith. Hi, we're here today with Robert McFaith's installation of art, and I've been asked to talk a little bit about Fred Bear. Hi everybody, my name is Holly Prohaska, and uh, Robert asked me if I would speak a little bit about this wonderful piece here, The Road Not Taken. And uh, I'm a librarian, and I'm a big supporter of Robert's artwork. I have several of his pieces, and I love everything Thunder Sky. And when Robert called me and asked if I would come in and speak about a piece or the artist who inspired it, I thought, that is so great, I don't know anything about poetry. So what I did is I contacted a friend and colleague of mine who can help me out. Here he is. Hey, I'm Michael Peterson. I'm the, uh, the curator of the Elliston Poetry Collection at the University of Cincinnati. Hi, my name is Karen Boyd, and I'm here to talk about Robert's painting called The Night is Lower and Early. And the subject of this work is Emma Bell Miles. Hi, I'm Anne Brown. I'm a poet and I'm a I also host a, um, an absurdist talk show called What Are We Talking About? Um, and I do a lot of different things besides that as well. Um, I'm here at Thunder Sky Gallery. Robert McFaith has a show called Time Symbol, Highway 20, 127, sorry, Highway 127. And he asked me to come in and talk about this piece right here called Gipsy Pixel. Hi, I'm Kate Caro. I am the board chair at Visionaries and Voices, and I'm here to talk about uh, one of Robert McFaith's pieces in his show, Sign Symbol, uh, Look at the World via Highway 127 at the uh, Thunder Sky Gallery. Okay. Hi, uh, this is uh, Jim D'Amico here from Thunder Sky Gallery, one of our great community centers, which sadly will be closing at the end of the year. I'm here to give a little bit of a talk about Alvin York, who's right behind me for Robert McFaith's uh, Highway 127 show, Sign Symbol. Uh, this is a really fantastic show, which is closing today, March 20, March, June 27th, and but will be available to be viewed online for the July uh, in commemoration of the Northside 4th of July Parade, which is not happening this year. Hi, I'm Bill Ross, and um, I'm here to talk about Nothing But Flowers, a song by the Talking Heads that was on um, the 1988 album, Naked. Bob has asked me to, or Robert, Robert McFake, sorry, has asked me to talk about um, Elizabeth Taylor because he's kind of done a beautiful homage to her in Raintree County, kind of like a drive-through movie version of, of her in Raintree County. And, the artifice is uh, like, what is that? When you have an umbrella, it's not an umbrella. It's a parasol, a, a parasol very Southern belle. Um, Liz, no matter what she did, and, and it was in true in Raintree County, she emanated like some kind of soul that goes beyond artifice, even though she's completely artificial. And so like her Southernness in, in Raintree County is a little fake, but you know what? Like I forgive her. And I always forgive her because like 
no matter what she does, she's there with us, right? She can. Hi, we're here with Robert McFancy Artwork, and I've been asked to talk a little bit about. What's his name? Fred. Fred Frank, Bear. Frank, Frank Bear. Frank, okay. Fred. 